We welcome you to Behind Enemy Lines, presented by Microsoft Teams with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. Very pleased to join our special guest from the Associated Press, Dave Ginsburg, to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. Pleasure to be here. How much have these Baltimore Ravens changed from the team that we saw 10 months ago in the playoffs? Interestingly, because Derrick Henry ran crazy, they got uh, Calais Campbell, and they figured that that would be a a good way to stop him. They got uh, Patrick Queen now in the middle as their uh, rookie linebacker. The whole focus was to improve their running game. Unfortunately, uh, as you may or may not know, Calais Campbell has an ankle injury, didn't play against New England, and may not play on Sunday. In addition, Brandon Williams, another great run stopper, was injured. They're going to be shorthanded in the front, not what they wanted to see going up against the Titans again, who ran all over them last January. How has this season been different for quarterback Lamar Jackson? He's still trying to find a groove, both passing. His running is not it's not bad. I mean, it's better than most quarterbacks, but it's not what it was last year because teams know what to expect from him. What are some of the strengths and weaknesses of the 2020 Ravens defense? I would say the strengths are their ability to get takeaways, strong backfield with uh, Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey at the corners, pretty solid safety and Deshaun Elliott and uh, Jimmy Smith. I'd say their defensive backfield is their strength. Used to be stopping the run, but right now they're very vulnerable. At six and three, they come into this game with the Titans, obviously chasing the Steelers who are undefeated at this moment. A team in the Ravens with their backs to the wall seems like a very dangerous Ravens team. Is that what you found from covering this team over their history? They've always been resilient under John Harbaugh, but now the injuries are starting to stack up. They don't have Ronnie Stanley, all pro left tackle. He's out for the year. You would say that they're in a bad way, but uh, I would say also that under Harbaugh, he's not gonna let them feel sorry for themselves. And I think, yeah, they could be dangerous, just like I think the Titans will be dangerous coming off that loss they had. Dave Ginsberg from the Associated Press, thank you for taking time to take us behind enemy lines presented by Microsoft Teams.